In this video, we'll define the mean, variance, and moments associated with a random variable, and a couple other quantities in between. And these are all nice. These are all nice because they involve the expectation. So we'll just let x be some random variable, some arbitrary random variable. And we'll define a bunch of quantities associated to x. So first, let's define the mean. So the mean of x, which we often denote by mu of x, is the quantity. Oh, I'll just write this. Well, OK, so it's the expected value of x. That's it. Next definition, the variance, mean and the variance. We always often denote the variance as sigma squared, or sometimes write it as, some people write var of x. So the variance of x is the quantity defined by, that it's quantity equal to the expectation of x minus its mean, minus its expected value, squared. And I'll put some extra parentheses out here to make it clear that the square, you square it first and then take the expected value. Sometimes people drop these parentheses and so you may see this to mean the expected value, uh, the, the, uh, the variance, but you, know, you should, so you, you have to make sure to, that you parse the expression correctly. Usually you can tell from the context what the person means. So that's the variance. And now let's do let's do the standard deviation that follows naturally from the variance. So the standard standard deviation of x is we often denote by sigma of x, and it is the square root of the variance, of course as the notation would suggest. And, it, and it, since the square root might be negative, we, we, always, we always take the standard deviation to be the, the positive square root here. OK. Now the moments. So we'll define the moments. So the, the kth moment, where k is some integer. This is for k. k in so some positive integer, 1, 2, 3, etc. So the kth moment of x is, well we sometimes denote it by m subscript subscript k of x. Different people use a different notation. And it is the expected value of x to the k. And sometimes people don't put parentheses, but to be clear, it's the you take the kth power first and then take the expected value. So that's the kth moment. And the closely related, let's make some room. Oh, got room. So the closely related. kth central moment, also for k, a positive integer, is the expected value of x minus its mean to the kth power. Put the parens there to be clear. So you subtract off the mean. So in fact, so for k equals 1, uh, well, for, so for k equals 1 here, of course, the, the first moment is just the mean. And for k equals 2, the kth central moment is the variance. And let me give you a little theorem here, a little theorem about the, or a little proposition. 
proposition about the variance. So the variance can also be written in the following way. So we have sigma squared of x also equals the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x, the whole quantity squared. So it's the second moment, right, minus the first moment squared, minus the mean squared. So that is uh, just follows by you square this and you, you use the linearity of expectation, which we which we had in the theorem in the, the previous video on properties of expectation. You use the linearity of expectation and this property easily follows. So you can prove that. A very easy little easy little exercise. So these are some just some some quantities that are often associated with a random variable.